Hi everyone, we are Better Block Red Team and we are going to talk to you about improving the Fitzcady area. Let us show you what the community lives with on a daily basis. The sidewalks are narrow and pedestrians are trapped between walls and fast moving cars. The crosswalks are faded and these barriers in the sidewalk could easily put pedestrians into the street and into oncoming traffic. And after you've gone through that entire struggle, you are rewarded with a rocky path to your ultimate destination, which is Katy Trail. Now, Angela and Lance will talk to you about the two major assets that set this community apart. So to improve the actual Fitzhugh area, we want to capitalize on the two assets of the area. So we believe that the two assets are Katy Trail and Cole Park. We want to improve the popularity of both and create a connect between the two. So the first topic that we would like to explore is Katy Trail. Right now there is a dirt trodden path, uh, an on-ramp from Fitzhugh Avenue onto Katy Trail. We believe that uh, we can improve this by putting in a concrete paved on-ramp. By doing so, this on-ramp will no longer be prone to flooding or muddiness. In addition, it will be uh, more accessible by anybody who may like, for example, need a stroller or a wheelchair. Also, uh, the on-ramp will also alert Katy Trail uh, users that Fitzhugh exists underneath, pulling people off of Katy Trail and onto Fitzhugh. By doing all of these, we believe that on-ramp will improve the safety of the pathway, it will increase access to healthy activities, and it will draw people slash consumers uh, to the Fitzhugh area. And we hope that this will improve uh, pedestrian traffic on Fitzhugh. Next is uh, Lance to talk to you guys about Cole Park. If we're looking to draw people off the Katy Trail, we want Cole Park to be the destination. Cole Park's current amenities cater largely to a young and highly active population with tennis courts, a playground, and acres of empty space. We plan to enhance the park so that it may draw in a larger, more uh, diverse population of all ages by installing adult fitness equipment. This idea is novel to the area, making Cole Park the only park with free access to outdoor strength training equipment within walking distance of the Katy Trail. We will be promoting this equipment to the community by posting signs along the Katy Trail that will direct users down our ramp onto Fitzhugh and into Cole Park. But if we want Fitzhugh to be the link between the Katy Trail and the park, we have to address the safety hazards that the street poses to pedestrians. Now Casey's gonna talk about how we plan to address some of these issues. So speeding poses a huge safety risk to those traveling on Fitzhugh Avenue, and we suggest planting trees in the medians this wasn't our own idea, but 95% of the community that responded to our survey said that they wanted shade trees added to the area in general. But additionally, research has shown that trees can reduce um, average cruising speeds up to three miles per hour and also reduce accidents involving trap, um, pedestrians by 80%. So we recommend adding trees to the medians and they, the trees can be donated by the Dallas Reforestation Fund and the community members can help plant and maintain these trees. Um, the trees have a greater overall impact on an area when the community members are involved, and so that's what we recommend. In order to uh, reduce traffic speeds additionally, we recommend narrowing the lanes from 12 to 10 feet wide. This is a traffic simulation put together by a group of SMU engineering students, and this traffic simulation shows our recommendation of narrowing the lanes down to 10 feet and it does not uh, affect road capacity or traffic flow. And it also um, speeds can be seen um, to reduce by up to six miles per hour with our recommendation. So uh, in addition to narrowing the lanes to 10 feet wide, the community will gain about six feet of extra space to each side of the road. They can decide what they wanna do with this extra space. However, we recommend expanding sidewalks and adding parkways. Parkways are the grassy strip between the curb and the sidewalk where more shade trees can be planted, furthering um, traffic calming effects and beautifying the area. You can also see that the crosswalks have been repainted in this photo. We are pleased to announce that the city of Dallas are, uh, is going to repaint all three intersections uh, in the Fitzcady area by the end of this year. Next, Trevor is gonna talk to you about how we plan to finance this. All right, so first we have the Katy Trail on-ramp. The Dallas Parks and Rec Department has estimated that a simple ramp will cost less than $20,000.
We will finance this by partnering with the community to reduce costs and with the Friends of Katy Trail to tap into their extensive private fundraising network. Next, we have the Cole Park Fitness Equipment. This will cost around $10,000, which will cover the installation of seven different pieces of equipment. We worked with the Dallas Parks Foundation to set up a donation page where community members can support this improvement. We are pleased to announce that we have already raised $725, and if you would like to contribute, we have attached the link to the end of the presentation. The shade trees will be donated by the Dallas Reforestation Fund, meaning that the only cost to the community will come from maintenance. To eliminate this cost, we recommend that the Fitzcady Association create a schedule of volunteers that will go out on a weekly basis to maintain the trees and medians. If you would like to be involved in this volunteer schedule, please email the link that we attach to the end of the presentation. Uh, narrowing lanes of the road from 12 to 10 feet will cost an estimated $7,000, which will have the effect of slowing traffic without the road work or costs associated with expanding sidewalks or, or parkways. This will be the first step of our road diet. The next step will depend on an informal community vote to receive the opinion of the community on what should be done with the newly gained extra space. This portion of the project will probably be the most expensive. However, if our plans are approved, the cost will be covered by public funds. In order to receive these public funds, we recommend attaching the Fitzhugh Road Diet to the 2018 capital bond package. This bond will finance a wide range of projects throughout Dallas, and according to city officials, preference is given to proposals that improve safety and establish a healthy economic environment. Lastly, the crosswalks will be paid for by the city of Dallas and will be completed by the end of 2017. So the projects that we recommend beginning immediately include installing fitness equipment, planting shade trees, and reducing lane width, all of which would cost less than $17,000 and will improve safety and accessibility of FITSU. We hope that these recommendations help to improve the FITSKD area, um, improve safety and community engagement. Have a good day.